Aragon. So we're still in Champions League, which is quite surprising to be honest with you. I don't have the amount of trophies to actually enter Champions League, but I still have a Champions League bat. And I know my last two videos I started the exact same way, but let me start it this way again. I got shit off. This guy actually took the initiative of actually luring out my clan castle, which is something that I don't see nor do now. The fucking Valkyrie literally decimated my troop. When I see somebody attacking me with free spells, I know that I'm bound to get fucked. Up. It's just whenever they disable my infernos, I get pretty fucked up. So in this video, I wanted to talk about a specific clan that I found on Global Chat. Now, this clan is not your average clan, okay? It is far from your average clan, actually. So it's gotta be one of these clans, but I'm not really too sure which one it is. I guess I'll just have to check them one by one. Okay, so the clan is called Elite 8 TM. So this is not your average type of fucking clan. This is much, much different than your average clan. These guys are far from mediocre. And let me show you why. Let me read you the description. Elite 8 TM, home of the best Tahal 8s. Yes, Tahal 8s. Top global rank 140. So let's go ahead and take a look at these guys' profile. Okay, so these guys are in Titan 2, not Titan 3. Titan fucking 2, and some of them are actually in Titan 1, really, really close to Legends League. And let's go ahead and look at their profile. Okay, so this guy's all-time high was 4,864 trophies. He is a fucking Town Hall 8. I don't understand how this is even possible. His GG is 438 million. And some of you guys watching this video might actually call these guys just like town hall snipers and shit. But this guy doesn't even have the humiliator challenge to level 3. And I mean, this is months and months after the update. So town hall sniping is actually not even a thing anymore. So how do they do it? I'm fucking clueless. I mean, it makes no fucking sense. He is literally 6 dark spells away. From having sharing is caring too. Let's go ahead and take a look at his base. That's his base, okay? That is his base. Obviously, a uh, max town hall 8. His storages are full, his collectors and mines are full, his treasury is probably full. So, I don't know how this makes any fucking sense, but this guy in particular is in Titan League. Now, if you guys want to join the clan, their tag is hashtag PCVVRQPV. So, if you guys are crazy pushers and shit and consider yourself as good as them i mean give it a go like these guys hardly even have champion leagues in their clan i don't know it's just really really weird how tahol 8s can get really really close to legends league i mean before seeing this clan i would have been shocked seeing in tahol 9 close to being in legends league i have difficulties getting to champions 2 okay and i am more than halfway through tahol 10 honestly i just don't know what i'm gonna do once i'm done upgrading everything i could be taking the path like everyone else and start pushing it's just i can see the frustration coming a mile away. like right now if I lose it's not much of a big deal because right now who gives a shit about trophies? to be completely frank with you I don't give a shit about trophies. I could drop 30 trophies right now it wouldn't fucking matter but if I start pushing and I start collecting trophies if I start sweating over trophies then I'm gonna be pissed off if I lose a defense or an attack as of for now when I lose it's just more you know GG, you, you beat me. Fair and square. But I know that if I started sweating over trophies, I'd start finding a bunch of excuses and shit. And right now I'm just focusing on absolutely maxing everything. A lot of people might be wondering, you know, why I'm not going to Town Hall 11. I did rush the shit out of Town Hall 9. Pretty much when I went to Town Hall 10, all my Town Hall 9 defenses were maxed, but everything else wasn't. Like my laboratory wasn't maxed, my walls weren't maxed, my heroes weren't maxed. But to me, it made more sense back then to go to Town Hall 10. And it still does. You get in first so people don't use heal spells on giants anymore you get an extra expo which i mean doesn't really do much why do you have to fucking copy bases see th these things pisses me the fuck off i'm not gonna lie don't attack these bases if you've seen a base before just don't attack it because it is proven that it is a good base so chances are that you actually win are pretty low but anyways as i was saying you get a new drill a gold mine an elixir collector more troop space an extra spell more levels obviously and more troops in your clan castle now when you go from town 10 to town 11 well there's just not that much yet sure you get the warden and the eagle artillery but 
it's just not worth it right now. Like, think about it. When you go to Town Hall 11, there is no more farming of Town Hall 9s anymore. You will attack either Town Hall 10s or Town Hall 11s. No one else. So, no, I'm not encouraging people to rush. I'm just saying, if it seems more strategical to you, then, you know, go ahead. To me at the time, and still now, still feels like the smart thing to do. To rush Town Hall 9 when you have all your defenses mapped. So don't live by that non-rushing rule if you think it's actually more strategical to rush. This game is all about strategy and to me not rushing Town Hall 9 once you have all your defenses max it just it doesn't feel like it's strategical. Town Hall 10 has so much to offer. Holy fuck I've actually been clicking next for a long ass time now. I mean this is the shit that I'm getting right. 40,000 gold, 48,000 elixir, 1,422 dark elixir and the bases are actually like pretty good too. Some of the bases have good loot but I'm just too much of a bitch to attack them. See this shit? There's the same base again that we saw earlier. It looks identical. That means these guys copied their bases. They didn't make... Which to me kind of cheats the purpose of the game. I mean, if you want to go and copy bases, you do you. I mean, I'm not going to tell you how to play. Oh, fuck this. I'm actually going to attack this guy. This is how I lose trophies. I just get really, really impatient and I just... Fuck it. Just... I'm going to attack this. I'm actually still not used to uh, playing on my laptop. I wonder if I'll actually ever get used. Alright, so we got one star. We got most of the Dark Elixir. Now, if the queen can actually get me that drill, I'll be pretty happy, but can she? You know what? I'm actually gonna be content with that loot. The loot bonus actually kind of makes up for Here comes the Valkyries. <laughs> Look how fucking strong they are! This is fucking ridiculous! They took down my town hall in like half a fucking second! This attack was fucked! He literally messed up hardcore, and yet he still got me. And the worst part is that Clash of Clans actually, I think they nerfed her. Like when the other day came out, she was actually even stronger than what she is now. And she still needs to be nerfed even more. But as you guys saw, my computer is actually dying. I don't know if this is going to be a short video or a long video. So honestly, I think I'll be fine. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. Not that you have to, but I'd really fucking appreciate it. But before my laptop dies, I will see you guys in the next video. And I hope that you guys have a fantastic day. Peace.